Once you've specified all the necessary files, Audio Savant loads the instruments into the main track. On top of the main track, you see the section data that was specified in the annotated file. This tells you where you are in the composition and how long each session is. On the top of the interface, we have the control panel. This provides you with a list of all the instruments that are used in the track. You have your playback controls. We have our selection controls, which we'll go over in a later video. And we have our output control. On the bottom of the interface, we have Audio Savant's pages, which basically shows the different pages of the track. So for this specific track, beginning with page one, you see the composition begins with one instrument. As we move along through the different pages, we're still in section one here, but as we move to page three and page four, we see the second instrument come in in section two. And moving along, we see the third instrument come in in section three. So for playback, you can begin with section one and page one and play the composition all the way through. Once the composition is loaded into Audio Savant, you can begin to explore the piece by moving the different instruments into our filter tracks. This is done using simple drag and drop. You can drag any instrument you'd like into any of the filter tracks we have available. When you drag instruments into a filter track, those notes gray out in the main track, indicating that you can't use that instrument in any additional filter tracks. To bring these instruments back into the main track, you simply click on the icon in the filter track. This brings the instrument back into the main track, the notes become colored again, and the icons become enabled up at the top control panel. So for example, if I want to hear only the piano, I can drag the bass and the flute into the filter track, mute that track, and play to hear only the piano. Now, if I want to hear the piano and the bass playing together, I can move the bass back up into the main track, mute the flute, and hear a lovely piano-bass duet. One of the ways to explore composition is to use our selection features. This is best done by getting each instrument into an individual track. So I drag each instrument into its own filter track. So our selection exploration tools are up here in our control panel. The first is our fine instrument control. Basically you can find the highest range instrument, which in this case is our flute, the lowest range instrument, which is the bass, and the widest range, which is again our flute. Our other selection category is exploring the composition. You can find either harmonies, repetitions, or the annotations that were provided by the expert music instructor. If you select to find repetitions, all repetitions within the piece are highlighted. Now these highlightings work in the following way. The original section of the notes that repeat are in a bold color. So in this case, these notes will be repeating throughout the piece, and that's one repetition within the piece. The second one is in bold blue, and then any subsequent repetition of those sections will be in a lighter color of that bold color. So as you scroll through the different pages, you see this light orange section is a repetition of the original orange section. In this case, two instruments are repeating the same section and so forth. The annotations show you what the expert music instructor said to describe each section of the piece. And to see what they meant by this, you can just scroll over the piece to see our tool tips. So in this case, the piano is playing the melody section. And so every section in the piece that's highlighted with green is also playing the melody section. Down here at the bottom, the flute is tacit for this section, and so it's highlighted in pink. Thus, any other section that is tacit will be also highlighted in pink. 
The second method for exploring a composition is using our highlighting feature. As you can see, we still have each instrument separated into its own track, similar to how we did for the selection. To use highlighting, you simply drag across a selection of notes. When you do this, those notes highlight and also show you any unique features of that sequence of notes. For example, for this sequence of notes, they're in harmony with both the bass and the flute. Thus, those areas of notes are all highlighted in pink. Similarly, this sequence of notes is in unison with other sections of the piano piece and the bass piece. So these sections are highlighted in purple. And you can scroll through different sections of the piece to see other instances of this repetition. The final feature of the Audio Savant interface is its Animate button. Basically, this button is set up to accommodate future work what it's intended to do is take a snapshot of your current data manipulation. So if you want to preserve the exploration you've done or the instrument manipulations you've done, you can preserve that and it can be used by any external or internal applications that might take advantage of those features. So let's say, for example, I'm interested in repetitions between the harmony and the bass. What I would do is separate each instrument into its own track. I'm not interested in the flute, so I can mute out the flute. I'm interested in the piano and bass, and I'm interested in repetitions with those two instruments, so I click on the Repetitions button. Then I want to create a snapshot of this data set, so I hit my Animate button. Now, our goal for future work is that by hitting this Animate button, you would actually be able to stream this snapshot to whatever external application requested it.